Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be discussing about reference point. So let's get started. So in the previous video, we have already discussed that when the position of an object changes with time, it is said to be in motion. Now here, let us consider a situation wherein we have a straight road and a car starts from here when it was five o'clock and at the end of half an hour that is at 5 30 it has reached somewhere here and after 45 minutes let's say it at 6 15 it has reached at that point so we said that since the position of the car was changing with time the car was in motion but how can we precisely say that this car was moving we cannot say it precisely in this case for that we need to consider one more thing which we will be learning here in this video now let us say we have we will con we consider this starting point of the car to be point o and from here the car starts and by the time it is 5 30 let's say it has reached here and let the distance between the point o and this put point be three kilometers so in this case we can say that the car has moved since its position its current position is three kilometers away from its initial point that is point o now again since it's it moves to that point and the, at the end of more 45 minutes that is at 6 15 now let's say the distance between uh, this point to that point that is the initial and the final point be five kilometer now again we can say that the body has moved since its final position is 5 kilometers away from the initial position or the starting point. So in this case we can precisely say that the car was moving and it was all done only when we consider this point that is the starting point. So we, whenever we want to specify the motion or position of an object we require a point with respect to which we can specify their position or motion. So such a point with respect to which we can specify the position or motion of a body is known as reference point. So here since we have considered point O with respect to which we have observed the motion of this car or the position of this car, we say in this case point O is our reference point. Now, with this information, uh, we will define motion as when an object changes its position with time with respect to a reference point, it is said to be in motion. So, the definition of the state of motion is complete now with an addition of the reference point here to the definition. Now, let us say we have four places here that is house, playground, school and petrol pump at these places. Now we, uh, let's say we want to specify the position of all these four places. For that as I, as I said we need to have a point as our reference point. That point can be any point. Now let us uh, first of all consider the house to be our reference point or, the, or we can say that the position of the house let's say that is our reference point. Now with respect to this reference point, we can specify the position of all the other three objects. How it is done? Let me tell you. Now we can say that the playground is located three kilometers away from the house towards east. So that is how we can uh, specify the position of the playground. And similarly, we can also say that the school is located 4.5 kilometers away from the house towards southeast and in the same way we can also say that the petrol pump is located towards south 3.5 kilometers away from the house. So this is how we can specify the position of the objects whenever we have a reference point with us. Now as I said the reference point can be any point not just the house not just the position of the house. But we can take the reference point to be somewhere here or there or even the position of the playground, school or petrol pump. It can be any point. Let's say when we take the 
playground to be our reference point what will be the condition now suppose we we will take the playground the position of the playground to be our reference point here so in this case we will have to specify the position of all these other three objects with respect to this reference point so let's see how it is done so we can see that the house is located three kilometers towards west of the playground and in the same way we can specify the position of the rest of the two places that is the petrol pump is located 4.5 kilometers away from the playground towards southwest and similarly the school is located uh, at a 1.8 kilometers away from the playground towards south so this is how we can specify the position of an object whenever we consider a reference point now let me tell you something more about reference point now uh, we consider a reference point we generally consider a reference point to be a stationary point or uh, a stationary point in the sense a point which is at rest so such points are generally considered are can be generally considered as reference point and it is the point from which the change in position of an object can be observed or the change in position of an object is observed so to understand this statement let us see a situation so here there is a straight road and here is a bus which is uh, which has children inside it and here is a boy which is looking who is looking at the bus now initially the bus starts coming towards him and then it goes away from him now if we consider the position of this boy to be our reference point we can uh, we, we will say that the bus was moving along with the kids so the kids inside the bus we will say that they were also moving with the bus now let us see the same situation in a different perspective that is from the interior of the bus or inside the bus so when we go inside the bus let's say we take a seat here and we see the kids inside the bus now let's say we take the position of this kid to be our reference point now whenever we take the position this position to be our reference point we see from this point that the kids are at rest they are sitting just near to us from now from this perspective the children inside the bus or the kids inside the bus are not moving but they are sitting in their respective places or we can say that they are at rest so there are two different perspectives to look at the same situation now how this difference has come it is it has come just because we have taken a different reference point in the second case so what i'm trying to say is it all depends upon the reference point or the point from which the situation is observed that it depends upon the reference point that whether an object is at rest or it is in motion so whenever we change the reference point the whole scenario may seem to be totally different so this was all about reference point i hope this video was understandable to you thanks for watching tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.